You may have noticed on the configurable landing pages that there is this icon up here, and this is the configuration tool that allows you to customize a landing page's themes. This is a really robust way for us to allow you to customize things quickly without you having to dive into all of these. Although it is slightly easier now with mass edit from ADIF, it's still a little tedious to change all of these individual elements, so we've made it simple with this Monk's Active Tile Triggers dialog box. You can see there's a lot of different things that you can change, and there's a note at the bottom telling you that you have to use the check mark down at the bottom once you've selected an option in order for anything to happen. So if you're clicking on one of these, wondering why nothing is progressing, and you just close out of it and nothing happens, it's because you have to have one of these selected and then click on the check mark. This entire theme or theme selector menu is probably going to be the main thing that you take use of. Notice that you have presets here on the left, and for the theme selector, you only have the, th the presets and then returning to the menu or canceling out, which will close the menu. Every one of these little submenus is going to tell you what's affected, and they're referencing the tags on these different items. So we have tiles with these tags and text with this tag and then the current scene weather. If you ever want to check what something's tags are, simply open up the tile and then on the basic side with tagger, you'll see that it has the menu frame and menu divider tags. If you add another element and you want to add an appropriate tag, you can use the theme selector and the configuration tool as a reference for what tags get modified by what actions. And you can add the appropriate tags here. Like you have other text that you want to be menu text and change with the configurator, then you can make those changes on the fly much more easily. So let's see what happens. As you can see, I've already customized this quite a bit. So we'll take a look at a new preset. If we select the golden preset, everything is going to change over. And you can see it takes a little bit for the weather to switch over with FX Master, but it does kick in. So just make sure that you do this before you have players on the scene, or you have some kind of thematic reason as to why you're changing it while players are on the scene. It can still be a cool effect to have the weather slowly transition before their eyes. If you want to get more granular, we can return to the main menu and we can go into all the individual elements. So there's frames and dividers here. You can choose to either customize the frame images or customize the sigil and frame colors. This is the menu sigil. And here, you know, golden's already what we have selected, but if we switch to radiant, it's gonna be this white color. And there's eldritch, etc. There's also the custom option here, and this opens up a color picker menu. So you can select any color that you want. This yellow might be a little obnoxious, but you can see that then you can get as specific as you want and customize this as much as you want. Then there is a way to get into the frame image customization or go straight back to the main menu. For frame images, these are using Monk's Active Tile Triggers has images that you assign. You can see that there are several of them. And if you wanted to add more images, you can do so by clicking add and then selecting them here. And that will just add them to the list. And then we use the next and previous to change everything with the menu divider tag. We don't have random in here because if we use random, sometimes these will not be on the same thing. They're both going to pick their own random images independently. And so you can have offset ones and it's hard to get them back in line without manually opening things up. We've also done the same treatment with the images on the background image. And so this is only going to be on templates, but here we have added the random option if you want to select different things. One thing to note with random is that sometimes you can in fact get the same image over and over again. It's very rare with the backgrounds, but it can come up with the sigil, for example. You see it just cycled to the exact same image yet again. So don't worry if you're really trying to find a random image, you will be able to get to one eventually, but sometimes it randoms into the exact same thing if there's not as much variety amongst those. Then we can also change the sigil glow, and that's this glowing effect with token magic effects. 
and you can toggle between the presets and then there's also the custom option to set the two tone for the glow. And there's weather and atmosphere. These are only available as the presets and you can also clear the weather if you prefer not to use FX Master Weather. Finally, if there's anything that you're not sure about or you need a refresher on any of these, you can click on the help option and that's gonna close the configuration menu and then open up this journal entry that has more information about this written down. So if you need a quick reference without opening up this video again, that's always there for you when you are using the configuration tool.